What's up everyone? Welcome back to another pickup video. Um, haven't done one in a long time, but uh, I was bored. Felt like doing one, so um, might start doing them again regularly, but not weekly, probably monthly. But um, So yeah, this is everything I picked up in April. I know it's halfway through May already, so... Um, but yeah, I'll just get right into it because there's a lot of stuff. Um, first thing I got is not going to be a movie, but it is a Blu-ray player. I finally went region free. I got that from 220 Electronics, I believe the name is. Um, I highly suggest going region free. A um, lot of good stuff that you can't find here in the U.S. And uh, sometimes it's even cheaper to buy imports. So... Uh, a lot of good stuff, especially from like Arrow and stuff like that. You know, imprint, 88 films, definitely get some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so yeah, um, I'll just get right into the DVDs now. I'll start with some Dollar Tree stuff. First off, we have The Angry Beavers, seasons one and two. Uh, I was really happy to find this. I haven't seen this show in a long time. Pretty good from what I can remember. Then we got a Scooby-Doo double feature with Scooby-Doo and Batman, The Brave and the Bold, and Scooby-Doo meets Batman. I have seen the the bottom one there. It was okay, I guess. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo. Uh, another double feature. We have Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeons and Dragons The Wrath of Dragon God. I haven't seen either of these, but the first one is in the IMDb Worst 100, so we're going to be covering that on the podcast. Next we have The Protector 2. Um, I know this has a Blu-ray, so I'll upgrade eventually, but for a dollar, I had to grab it. Same with this one, uh, It Man Origins. I uh, love the It Man series, so definitely interested to check that one out. I hadn't even heard of this one, so. We have Selfie Man. Um, I, I'm guessing it's a rip-off of Slender Man, so it's probably awful. And this one's probably awful too. Prey. Don't know anything about it. And we have Anna and the Apocalypse. Um, I've seen this one. It is a zombie musical. Zombie Christmas musical. It's weird. Uh, I don't like musicals, so... I didn't really like this one too much, but... For a dollar, I'll rewatch it. And we have a Shutter exclusive. That is Boar. These are always pretty fun. Um, I know this has a Blu-ray, so I'll probably upgrade that eventually. That was it for Dollar Tree stuff, so I'll just get into my regular stuff. First up, we have Everything is Illuminated with Elijah Wood. Um, I haven't seen this in a long time. I wanted to revisit it, so I picked it up. Then for the podcast, I picked up The Fog from 2005, I believe. This is the remake. It is on the IMDb Worst 100. Um, doesn't deserve to be on the Worst 100, but it was still pretty bad. Then we have a Turbulence 3 Heavy Metal. Um, I saw on Instagram, I, I Hope You Suffer podcast. They were covering this one, and um, I hadn't seen it in a long time, so I had to, re had to get this to check it out again. Uh, the next few things I got from MVD, they had a Wild Eye sale. Um, Wild Eye is usually garbage, so I'm not expecting too much, but these were like $5, so might as well check them out. Um, first one we have is Gorgasm. I mean, the cover art looks great, but the movie is probably not. Um, but we'll see. Then we have Russell Massacre. The Spanish Chainsaw Massacre and Secret Santa. Always happy to add more Christmas horror to the collection, so we'll check that out in December probably. The next two I got from an independent filmmaker on Instagram. Uh, his name is Emir Scalanja. Um, I haven't seen any of his stuff, any of his movies yet, but um, they look pretty interesting. This one is. Confessions of a Homicidal Prostitute Demonatrix. And of course, it's signed by him. These look like some 
shot on video, goodness. And then this one's just Confessions of a Homicidal Prostitute. Again, signed by him. I do have a couple of Blu-rays that you'll see in a little bit from him as well. But the next thing up I got is from Full Moon. This is one of their free add-ins to one of their packages. They like to throw in free movies, and uh, I'm okay with that. So this one is Horror Vision. I have no idea what this is about, but their spine is, like, backwards. It's weird. Uh, yeah. Then from Makeflix and Retromedia, we have 13 Erotic Ghosts. Julie Strain. Um, it is 3D, this weird 3D. But always looking forward to checking out retro media releases. I know Fred Olin Wright puts out some weird stuff. The next one I got was from the last um, Warner Archive 4 for 44 sale. It's the only DVD I got from them, and that is Deadly Friend from Wes Craven. You've probably seen the basketball scene where someone's head explodes, and it's amazing. I haven't seen the movie. I've only seen that clip. So, and the last for the DVDs is actually a triple pack. Um, I saw Blu-ray Lantern post about this. It is the Prey trilogy. These are Christian slasher movies. Uh, apparently. I don't know, <laughs> but it sounded so bad that I had to check them out. A Christian slasher, like, how could they do that? Um, so you have Prey. Prey 2, The Woods. And Prey 3D, The Storm. Faith Conquers Fear. All right, those, those should be really interesting. Um, so yeah, that was it for the DVDs. Let's move on to the Blu-rays. All right, moving on to the Blu-rays. The first few things I have are from Dollar Tree. I found a bunch of stuff this go around. Um, is any of it good? Probably not, but we'll see. Um, first up, we have The Reef. Looks interesting. Has a decent cast, so maybe. This one I know is not going to be good because it's on the IMDb Worst 100, and we will be covering it on the podcast. That is the Emoji Movie. This is already in the dollar store, so yeah. This one's from uh, Echo Bridge. We have Adventures at the Chocolate Factory. I don't know if this is from, you know, Willy Wonka and stuff, but... Sounds like it, so might as well check it out. Then we have a documentary, also from Echo Bridge, Looking for Lennon. Uh, then we have Gangsterland. Uh, this is not what I thought it was, but I'll still check it out. We have Abduction, with Scott Adkins. Sorry for the glare. Some Jason Statham. Yeah, Blitz. Hammer of the Gods with the slipcover. Sushi Girl. Uh, I did find the DVD of this in a previous wave, so this is an upgrade. Still haven't watched it. We have uh, Wild Horses. It uh, looks like a Western, or modern Western, I should say. Good cast, so hopefully it's good. The Secret of Nim. Uh, I've heard this is pretty good, actually, so looking forward to that one. We got some Nick Cage with the Humanity Bureau. I didn't realize until I got home that it is um, a little crushed, but what can you do? It was a dollar, and it was the only copy. Some more westerns. We got uh, The Proposition and Traded. We have another weird animated one. The Steam Engines of Oz, the animation style looks really weird, but it has Ron Perlman and William Shatner. I don't know if that makes it good, but they're in there. This one had a good cast. Uh, Skin Trade, got Dolph Lundgren, Tony Jaa, Michael Jai White, Peter Weller, Ron Perlman. 
Could be all right. This one looks really interesting. Uh, Officer Down. Don't know much about it, but look at the back there. You got like this crazy nun lady and a ninja. I don't know. Looks fun. That was it for most of the Dollar Tree stuff. I'll have some later with horror, more horror stuff. Um, but uh, from Amazon, we have Power Rangers. This was five bucks. I watched the original series as a kid, so I was curious to check that out for five bucks. Might as well. And then we have Slumdog Millionaire. I haven't seen it. Heard good things. Call Me By Your Name. Have not seen that one. This one I have seen and is great. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. This one I think it needs a Criterion. Would make a great addition. Then we have some Jackie Chan with The Foreigner. And then How High, a great stoner comedy. Next up we have Arch Enemy with Joe, Joe Manganiello. Um, I don't know how to say his name. It's like a, um, it's a superhero movie, but like a more brutal one, I guess. A couple Disney pickups. We have The Fox and the Hound. Wish I had a slip cover, but. And from Disney Movie Club, Black Cauldron. Had to get that one. Uh, then we got a Western double feature, Spaghetti Western double feature, uh, The Last Gun and Four Dollars of Revenge. I got this on Amazon and then it started showing up at Dollar Trees. I never saw it at Dollar Trees, but it was like five or less, five or less, I think. This one I was not happy about. I, um, as you saw, I'm a member of the Disney Movie Club, and uh, this is one I forgot to decline, and I already had all three, but it, kind of, it condenses shelf space. Um, got the X-Men three film collection. It has the first three X-Men movies. Uh, this was like <laughs> over forty dollars because it's Disney Movie Club. Uh, yeah, sometimes I hate being a member of Disney Movie Club, but it saves two spots on the shelf, I guess. Uh, the next thing up, I saw a scene from this on Instagram. It was like a really gory action movie, so I definitely want to check it out. That is Reborn. Don't know much about it. Uh, the next few things are from the last Warner Archive 4 for 44 sale. We have Popeye Volume 1, Popeye Volume 2, and Popeye Volume 3. I always loved watching that as a kid. And then we have Tex Avery Volume 1 and Tex Avery Volume 2. And also from that sale, we have Drop Dead Gorgeous. Um, don't know much about it, but I've heard good things. So, And from Kino, I got Spaceballs the 4K. Uh, this does have some audio issues, which they refuse to acknowledge, but what are you going to do? And then also from Disney Movie Club, we have the 4K of Soul. This is really good. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, the next few things are some more Dollar Tree stuff. Um, everything's out of order, kind of. <laughs> but we have Hellride. Uh, this was an upgrade. Might as well for a dollar. Uh, John Dies at the End. Uh, this was pretty good. Wait, have I even seen this? I don't know if I've seen this, actually. So, ignore what I just said. <laughs> uh, some more Nick Cage with Left Behind. I'm trying to get every Nick Cage movie that he's made, so for a dollar, gotta. Uh, then we have Survival of the Dead. This awesome lenticular. Uh, this was also an upgrade. Movies not that great, but for a dollar, might as well check it out again. And the last thing from Dollar Tree was Lovely Molly. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting. And from Amazon, we have Interlaced. Uh, I only got this because it was $5. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I don't know anything about it. Sorry. We have The Island of Dr. Moreau. 
uh, I wanted to get a bun uh, the rest of Richard Stanley's stuff before they stopped making it. So, Rick Allen, Dr. Moreau. The, the April Horror Pack had two movies that I already had, so these are the other two. We have Resident Evil Degeneration. This is an animated one. It's probably not that great. And then the Horror Pack exclusive was Muck. I heard this was awful. That is number 58. And then we have, I got this directly from their website, and that is the fear footage. I know I'm really behind on picking this up. There's three of these out there already. Um, but it comes in a cool evidence bag. There's some, like, bloody notes in there. It's pretty cool. Um, you've probably already seen it because everyone, everyone else got it, like, a long time ago. Anyways, uh, next we've got more Nick Cage, Willy's Wonderland. This looks crazy. Um... Might do a double feature with this and a Banana Splits movie. Then we have uh, the other two movies from Amir Skalanja I was talking about. Um, this one's Anthropocene. Anthropocene? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, yeah. Again, signed by him. If you order anything from him, he, it is signed. And this one is Veronica. Uh, the next few things are from this new company called Gold Ninja Video. Now they they put out a bunch of kung fu and other horror stuff, but they're not remastered or anything. They I don't think they have the rights for them. Maybe they do. I'm not sure, but um, they pretty much look like YouTube rips. From what I've seen, I haven't actually popped these in yet, but uh, I'm st I'm still glad I got <clears throat> I'm still glad I got these, uh, except for this first one. Uh, and God said to Cain, this is, just got announced. It is going to be in a Arrow box set, the Vengeance Trails box set. So, uh, uh probably get rid of this one at some point, but. They're all numbered. We have number 237 out of 300. They all come with the booklet. It's just printer paper. And of course, they're all burn on demand. But, oh yeah, they all come with a bonus movie on them. Um, this one is The Moment the moment to Kill. This doesn't autofocus, so I can't do that. Uh, the next one I got is Kung Fu Wonder Child. This looks crazy. Uh, the bonus film on this one is Lucky 7. And this is number 44 out of 500. And then we have Blood of the Dragon. This is number 263 out of 300. And the bonus film is The Master Strikes. The next one we have is A Sweet and Vicious Beauty. And this is number 112 out of 500. And the bonus movie is Fifth City. And then we have Killer Queen. This is number 206 out of 500. And this one has a short film um, called Valentina. This one has a bunch of movies on it. Uh, it is The Other Side of Gary Graver. This is number 134 out of 500. This includes The Embracers and and When She Was Bad and a Gary Graver movie. Yeah. Then this one is Don't Let the River Beast Get You. This is number 270 out of 500. And this includes Druids, Druids Everywhere. And the last one from Gold Ninja Video is Creature from the Black Lake. This is number 222 out of 300, and it includes the movie I Love to Kill, a.k.a. Impulse. Next few are from that Wild Eye Sale from uh, MVD. We have American Mummy. 
Forest of the Lost Souls, and Sheborg. This one looks pretty fun, but it's Wild Eye, so it's probably trash. Um, the next one is from Raven Banner. And that is Psycho Gorman, the Hunky Boy Ultimate Edition. Comes with some trading cards. I'm not going to open it, but it comes with trading cards and slip cover and everything. I do want to show the, the art on that. It's straight up the house guest poster. I love it. Uh, the movie was okay. Uh, I'm not a big as I'm not a big of a fan as everyone else is. Um, the main girl in that just annoys the hell out of me. Uh, kind of ruins it a little for me, but everything else is great. Love the aesthetic, love the gore, love the creature design. Yeah. Um, next up, we got two from Full Moon. We have Night of the Eagles with Mark Hamill and Christopher Lee. Then some Klaus Kinski, Lover of the Monster. We got one from Synapse, and it's Basket Case 2. I had one and three, so grab two. We got two from Scream Factory. These were the website exclusives of the month or whatever. I don't, I don't know if it's every month that they're doing them, but the big bust out and double feature of Amazons and Barbarian Queen. I have no idea what those are about. Um, next one is from Massacre Video. This is the first Massacre Video release I've gotten, and that is Mahakal. This is the uh, Bollywood version of Nightmare on Elm Street. Looks pretty crazy. Here's the artwork on the case. Uh, I've always heard about this one, but you could, never, you could never find a good copy, so happy to have that one. Uh, then from another MVD sale, uh, they were doing Blue Underground sale. I grabbed a couple of their 4Ks because their 4Ks are outrageously priced. They're like 50, 40, 50 dollars normally, but these are like half off or something. I don't remember. We have The House by the Cemetery by Lucio Fulci. And then Daughters of Darkness, lenticular slip, doesn't really do much, but it's cool nonetheless. All right, and the last stack of stuff uh, from Agfa and uh, Vinegar Syndrome, we have The Curious Dr. Hump. I have no idea what this is about, but it was on um, Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good deal, so always interested to add some Agfa to the collection. Uh, and then we have some indicator, my first indicator purchase actually, uh, and that is Irreversible. Um, good movie, I, I'm, I don't know if I'd say good, but you know, if you've seen this, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, this is Region B, like I said, I just went region free, so you can get awesome uh, sets like this if you go region free uh, great release this is limited to 10,000 I got number three 3,715 I don't know if you can see that but yeah and from Severin we have their newest box set and that is the dungeon of Andy Milligan um, being a friend of mine, I've been talking about this for a while, and um, uh, he's watched all of them, but I haven't. <laughs> I haven't watched a single one yet. But uh, Andy Milligan, definitely an interesting filmmaker. This comes with the ghastly ones, the rats are coming, the werewolves are here, vapors, the body beneath, torture dungeon, night, uh, night birds, the man with two heads, guru the mad monk, seeds, carnage, flush pot on 42nd street, bloodthirsty butchers, blood and legacy of blood so definitely looking forward to checking this out and the last few things are from grindhouse videos arrow video sale um not too happy with the way that guy has, runs his sales but what are you gonna do uh, these got here super late Anyways, uh, we first thing we have is Sister Street Fighter Collection. 
Uh, I'm, there's, I didn't realize that there's a, like five of these movies. So we have Sister Street Fighter, Sister Street Fighter, Hanging by a Thread, Return of the Sister Street Fighter, and Sister Street Fighter, Fifth Level Fist. I didn't know there were so many. I thought there was like two or three, but I think there's five. Uh, the next one is box set. We have the Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection. Got all four of them in there. The, they are Female Prisoner number 701 Scorpion, Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41, Female Prisoner Scorpion Beast Stable, and Female Prisoner Scorpion number 701's Grudge Song. I have not seen any of these, but I've heard really good things. And the last thing for this video is going to be the complete Sartana collection from Arrow. This has one, two, three, four, five movies in it. Uh, I'm always a fan of spaghetti westerns, so definitely interested to check these out. This includes <clears throat> Light the Fuse, Sartana is Coming. Have a good funeral, my friend. Sartana will pay. Sartana's here. Trade your pistol for a coffin. I am Sartana, your angel of death. And if you meet Sartana, pray for your death. So, definitely interested to check these out. Yeah. And that is everything I got in April. Um, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. And, uh... I guess we'll see you next month unless I figure out another video to do. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.